Boys in the Hood. So, like, I was never supposed to watch rated R movies. That was, like, a, a thing. But, you know, I snuck around it. There were so many—I had so many brothers and sisters that— I was able to kind of like sneak around while they were paying attention to them and then watch the movies I wasn't supposed to watch. Of course, those were the ones that I was interested in because I just wanted to know what the adults were doing. I thought it was more interesting. And so I saw movies like Jason's Lyric, um, Boys Mm. in the Hood, Menace to Society at a young age. And uh, for one, it made me realize that like, oh, some of the people that I know that are around me can also be on screen. Um, that I didn't really see before. It was a sort of specific niche kind of um, and, uh, community environment that really wasn't, I didn't see a lot in cinema. But then I got to see people that seemed familiar to my crazy uncles or people that I had around me. <laughs> and it was just fascinating. And I was like, all right, well, this is this is cool. And I would sit there and watch this. And, you know, the the violence of it was harrowing, but also the heart at the center of it and how to get through harder moments like that. Um, seemed to mirror what I saw in my own family, where we would have these like random events take place and it was like big and crazy. And then the next day we're like, yeah, so so what's up, man? How you doing? How you feeling? And we just move right past it because we had to, to sharpen this tool of survival. So so and it's such a fine point that, you know, we had to survive. We had to get through every day as if it was just dust on our shoulder. So those kind of movies reminded me of that, but also reminded me of the idea that you can get outside of your environment. Early on, things like Boys of the Hood showed me like, well, if you can if you can be ambitious enough, you can actually get on an airplane. And these are things that I, you know, didn't think that I could be able to do. And uh, when I got older, I realized, you know, when I, I remember when I first got on my first airplane, I think I was probably like 20 or something like that. Got on my first airplane and I was like, wow, I remember thinking like one day I'm going to be on an airplane. But it was yeah. crazy because I, it used to just be this vision that was only seen in glimpses through these films that like now is actually here. So it was, it was cool. Yeah, it's, it's like when well, you recognize things that you feel you have to recognize. I mean, you know, if you don't have to care. And, and it's also like there's there's it's such a powerful medium in the sense mm-hmm. that you can literally control the way people think and view and, and 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 take in things. With that kind of power, your first preoccupation is probably to set the record straight in your own backyard. You want to show people what you want them to see about you and how that feels and how others relate to you becomes secondary. So I think cinema is quite young, and I think people kind of forget that. It hasn't been here that long, and it yeah. damn sure hasn't been here that long for people that, you know, non-white, non-white men and things of that nature. So it's a very young uh, medium for us. And, you know, I think there's a lot of pressure sometimes put on the diversity, like, oh, this needs to happen like this and this and this and that. But I think we got to have more grace because we have to understand there's so many stories to tell, so many storytellers, so many people that want to be a part of these things that we just, we're just now tipping the iceberg on the multitude of stories that come from all kinds of cultures. But the beautiful thing about it is with time, we realize, because humans are kind of slow sometimes, we realize that, like, you know, everybody is human. And in the, di- in the dynamic human story, there are so many stories within that that are specific to people's experiences. And, like, we realize that more and more the more we see, like, Crazy Rich Asians. Like, I saw that, and I was like, what the hell? This is amazing. But it was a slice of life that I wouldn't have known. Right. Had I not have seen that right. movie. So we know the importance of what cinema can be and can do. And so now other people can start to make their films and they can start to expand out. And it is progressing. And I think that is a good thing. 